Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, this is the Bedini North Pole motor, school, school girl motor. Uh, I've, now I've added this little sub circuit here for the base resistance. There's a potentiometer, a resistor, and a light bulb all in series. And uh, that's a little automotive dome light bulb, 5 watts. Its cold resistance is about 8.8 .8 or 9 ohms, something like that. Uh, that's a 10 ohm resistor, and that's a 2.2K type J potentiometer there. And they are in the circuit substituting for the base resistor. Okay, and you're supposed to be able to tune this pot for the sweet spot of the performance. I'm running on battery B1. It started out at 12.61 volts, and now it's down to there. It's going to take a long time for that battery to run down. Uh, I want to run it down to 11 volts before I swap it and start charging it with another battery, but I may, I may just run it down to 12 volts because it's going to take hours to run down. It's a 5 amp hour battery, and we're only drawing... Uh, 700 to 8 or 70 to 80 milliamps right now, and we are actually running the ring oscillator as a load. So the ring oscillator is taking the high voltage output uh, from the charge terminals. It's substituting as a battery load. Okay, and what I want to do now is show you the effect of uh, the tuning process, tuning this pot. Okay. And up there, up there are the waveforms. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so I'm going to tune the pot towards the lower resistance now. Lower and lower. Lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. So I think you can see that. Ah, you can see that my camera gets fuzzy. Okay, the width of this small notch right down here—that's the drive pulse. Uh, so that's the duty cycle, and then the height of this peak is the high voltage portion. So as I turn towards less and less resistance, that's more and more resistance, less and less resistance. You can see that the drive pulse gets longer, but the high voltage goes away and the motor actually decreases RPM uh, there. So about where that little blip right on the top of the spike goes away, right there is the high voltage end, high voltage disappearance end. And that's actually right where this little light bulb starts to glow too. So if I turn the pot left and right around that point, right there. That's where that high voltage blip starts to decrease focus, damn it. Okay, now if I turn towards the increasing resistance side, you can see that the duty cycle gets shorter and shorter and shorter, shorter until we get to a point where we get these multiple, multiple peaks and the motor uh, dies at that point, it stops running. So you want to be somewhere in between there for your sweet spot. And for me the sweet spot is right about there. I get good high voltage output about 800 milliamps, or I'm sorry, 80 milliamps current draw and a reasonable motor RPM. And so I took off the... I unsoldered this now and then measured the whole resistance of that thing and for my motor that sweet spot occurs uh, at a current value... well here are the numbers that I got right here. Uh, so I got 80 milliamps, 311.3 ohms is where my sweet spot is. 
The multiple pulses start at 1554 ohms with a current input of about 50 milliamps, and the high voltage decrease starts at about 72.9 ohms with 110 milliamps. So if all you have is a uh, is a current meter, then you want to look for when the multiple pulses happen, you can generally hear that. When the high voltage decrease happens, you can see that uh, on your neon. So somewhere about halfway in between those two points is where your sweet spot is going to be, and that's what your resistance should be uh, set at, I think. Okay, thanks for watching.